Hello and welcome to my channel, where I talk about all things related to space exploration and technology. In this video, I'm going to discuss some of the SpaceX rocket engine test failures and what they teach us about the challenges and opportunities of developing reusable launch systems. SpaceX is a private company founded by Elon Musk in 2002 with the goal of making humanity a multiplanetary species. To achieve this goal, SpaceX has developed several reusable launch systems that can deliver payloads and people to orbit and beyond. These launch systems are powered by different types of rocket engines, such as the Merlin engine, the Raptor engine, and the Super Draco engine. But developing rocket engines is not easy. It involves dealing with extreme temperatures, pressures, forces, vibrations, and other factors that can cause failures and explosions. SpaceX has experienced many rocket engine test failures over the years, some of which resulted in spectacular fireballs that made headlines around the world. However, SpaceX does not see these failures as setbacks, but as opportunities to learn and improve. This way, SpaceX can identify and fix problems before they become critical or endanger human lives. Let's take a look at some of the SpaceX rocket engine test failures and what they teach us. The first rocket engine that SpaceX developed was the Merlin engine. The Merlin engine is a gas generator cycle engine that uses liquid oxygen and RP-1, which is a refined kerosene, as propellants. It was designed to be simple, reliable, and low cost. It is used to power the first stage of the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, as well as the second stage of the Falcon 9 rocket. One of the most notable Merlin engine test failures occurred on September 1, 2016, when a Falcon 9 rocket exploded on the launch pad during a static fire test at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. The explosion destroyed the rocket and its payload, which was a communications satellite for Facebook. The cause of the failure was traced to a breach in the helium system of the second stage liquid oxygen tank. The breach ignited the oxygen and caused a rapid chain reaction that resulted in a detonation. This failure taught SpaceX several lessons about the design and operation of its Merlin engines and tanks. For example, SpaceX learned that it needed to change the material and configuration of its helium tanks to prevent friction or sparks that could ignite the oxygen. SpaceX also learned that it needed to improve its quality control and inspection procedures to detect any anomalies or defects before loading propellants. SpaceX also learned that it needed to modify its launch protocol to avoid fueling the rocket while astronauts are on board. The next rocket engine that SpaceX is developing is the Raptor engine. The Raptor engine is a full-flow stage combustion engine that uses liquid methane and liquid oxygen as propellants. It is designed to be more efficient, more powerful, more scalable, and more adaptable than the Merlin engine. It will be used to power the Starship and Super Heavy vehicles, which are SpaceX's next-generation reusable launch systems that aim to enable human colonization of Mars and beyond. The Raptor engine has also experienced several test failures over the years, some of which resulted in spectacular fireballs that made headlines around the world. One of the most notable Raptor engine test failures occurred on May 29, 2020, when a Starship prototype called SN4 exploded shortly after a static fire test at SpaceX's facilities in Boca Chica, Texas. The explosion destroyed the prototype and damaged the test stand. The cause of the failure was traced to a leak in a quick disconnect valve that connected the Raptor engine to the propellant tanks. The leak allowed liquid methane to escape and ignite, creating a fireball that engulfed the vehicle. This failure taught SpaceX several lessons about the design and operation of its Raptor engines and quick disconnect valves. For example, SpaceX learned that it needed to improve the sealing and locking mechanisms of the valves to prevent leaks and ensure proper detachment. SpaceX also learned that it needed to improve the thermal protection and insulation of the vehicle and the test stand to prevent damage from fire and heat. SpaceX also learned that it needed to improve its safety procedures and protocols to protect its personnel and equipment from potential hazards. Another rocket engine that SpaceX is developing is the Super Draco engine. The Super Draco engine is a hypergolic engine that uses nitrogen tetroxide and monomethylhydrazine as propellants. It is designed to be a launch escape system for the Dragon capsule, which can carry crewed missions to the International Space Station or transport private astronauts to orbit. The Super Draco engine can also enable propulsive landing for the Dragon capsule on Earth or other planets. One of the most notable Super Draco engine test failures occurred on April 20, 2019, when a crew Dragon capsule exploded during a static fire test at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. The explosion destroyed the capsule and its payload, which was a test dummy named Ripley. The cause of the failure was traced to a faulty valve in the high-pressure helium system of the Super Draco thrusters. The faulty valve allowed liquid oxidizer to enter and ignite the pressurized helium tubes, creating a powerful explosion. This failure taught SpaceX several lessons about the design and operation of its Super Draco engines and valves. For example, SpaceX learned that it needed to replace the faulty valve with a burst disc, which is a one-time-use device that prevents any flow until a certain pressure is reached. 
SpaceX also learned that it needed to redesign its helium tubes to withstand higher pressures and temperatures. SpaceX also learned that it needed to conduct more thorough testing and analysis of its Super Draco engines before flight. These are just some of the examples of SpaceX rocket engine test failures and what they teach us. There are many more failures that have occurred over the years, each with its own lessons and improvements. SpaceX views these failures as part of its learning process and as a way to advance its technology and achieve its goals. As Elon Musk once said, if you're not failing, you're not innovating. SpaceX is not afraid to fail, but it is also not afraid to succeed. SpaceX has demonstrated many remarkable achievements in rocket science and technology, such as landing and reusing its Falcon 9 boosters, launching and docking its Crew Dragon capsules, testing and flying its Starship prototypes, and more. SpaceX is not only developing rocket engines, but also developing reusable launch systems that can enable human exploration and settlement of space. SpaceX is not only testing rocket engines, but also testing the limits of what is possible and what is impossible. And that's how SpaceX rocket engine test failures and what they teach us. It's an inspiring story of innovation and ambition that shows how SpaceX is revolutionizing the space industry and making humanity a multiplanetary species. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more space-related content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.